Hello and welcome back to part two of the cell interior creation video for the Skyrim Creation Kit Bootcamp tutorial series. From the new cell window, you can change basic information in the first tab called the Common Data tab. If your cell data is grayed out then, and you are unable to change things like location or music type, then you probably have the cell loaded. Load a different cell and reopen the cell data from your cell. This makes previewing cell changes tedious, but it does work. In the Common Data tab, you can change basic information about your cell. This includes the location, music, acoustic space, and whether it has water, and if you can fast travel from this location. You can select a custom location from the drop-down list. If you do not have a custom location, then you can create one and come back to this, or you can just leave this as none. The default acoustic space is typically used for interiors. You can use it for exteriors, though. You can also leave it as none. You can create your own default acoustic space, or you can select one that seems appropriate for your cell. You can either look at a similar cell and use those settings, or search through the list and find one that fits your area's theme. For example, if you know that you're making a dungeon, and you also think it's going to be a mine, then you could easily just grab either the Interior Dungeon Mine or the Interior Dungeon Mine Large. If you read through the list, they are usually pretty self-explanatory. Similarly, music type can be set to a specific setting, such as a tavern or a dungeon theme. You can also leave it to the default setting. Water allows you to define water properties for your interior cells. You can select a predefined water type from the drop-down menu, or you can leave it to the default. If you do not plan on using water in this cell, just leave it unchecked. Image spaces render the cell with post-processing effects such as blurring, cinematic coloring, and HDR or bloom. You can also create your own image space for a custom look. For standard area, this should be left to default. Force Hide Land is used for exterior cells only. It will completely disable the visual aspect of the land within that quadrant, but collision will still remain. Checking No LOD Water removes the distant visual for water in the cell. For interiors, this should remain unchecked. Hand Changed is also used for exterior cells only. Checking it removes the procedural generation application for this cell. If you are editing an exterior and you do not want the terrain to be adjusted by the engine, then check this box. It will not apply to interiors. In order to disable fast travel, check Can't Travel from here. Interiors usually have this checked by default. 